what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel thanks for stopping by and um please make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell all right today we got a video on the uh jeep xj today uh, i don't have any reverse lights as of the moment and it's probably due to this neutral safety switch um so i already taken it off uh it's not too hard and basically you know you got a 12 millimeter nut i'll show you when you get a little closer but 12 millimeter nut use the uh adjustable wrench for that and unplug the plug and pull it on out hardest part is trying to if it's never been off is trying to get to those two zip ties you got to snip to get it out so um let me bring you in a little closer so we can see what's going on all right so like i said it's one 12 millimeter bolt you take this loose pull it out and this has um let me undo it right here it has this washer on it it kind of looks like this and these little tabs flip over that hold it in place so you got to bend those back and then you don't have to remove this all the way you just got to loosen it some where you can get something behind it and pry it off the shaft that comes through here but i will say be very careful because like i said i have one on my jeep now and what happened was i pried it off and actually stripped um the threads on the nut here and on this and so instead of just trying to replace just that i went and got a i had another one laying around so i'm just gonna put this one on so anyway you remove that remove all this remove the washer this little rubber washer set them to the side flip it over and you have some phillips you gotta remove we'll get those out see what we got going on the inside now this may not be not even, may not be anything wrong with this but I'm going to go ahead and take it apart while it's off and clean up the contacts and all that. So we ain't got, so I ain't got to worry about it if it is or not. Most of the time it gets all like gummed up inside there. So just go through and clean it with something clean your contacts put some dielectric grease in it and put it back together it's usually good to go don't want to strip any of these and this one here is going to be a little tough for some reason huh. find something to get that out with Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. Now, this one ain't too awful bad right here. See, I could just take this out and put it in mine, but we'll go ahead and clean it all up. Let me grab a rag and some stuff. So we're gonna pull, maybe, grab a pair of needle nose pliers now. Pull a little contacts out. See, it's 
See if we can't fish the springs out of there without losing them. All right, now we can go through and start wiping everything down. Get everything cleaned up. Let's go through and clean all this gunk out of here. Or what you can get out. Might not be able to get it all, but get most of it. All right, so that's pretty good. Like I said, you could spend some more time on it. Getting it all out of there, but I'm not. All right, next thing I'm going to do is clean these springs off. And stretch them out a little bit. And then the little copper contacts is next. Clean those. All right. 
So now, we're still seeing all this, which I'm not even sure. Then you get you some dielectric grease. I'm just gonna spread a little bit on here, all over. a little bit in here Reinstall your springs. One in that hole. One in that hole. And then it contacts. Everything back together. Like that. All right, so now it's all back together and should all work correctly. Rubber washer, other washer, nut back on. All right, now only thing left to do is reinstall it. Um,
All right, so the only thing left to do is reinstall it. And I'm not sure of a good way to get the camera on there to see, but so I'm not gonna do it on the video. Um, but basically feed this up, plug it back into your harness, tighten this down. And once you get everything snugged up, you, you don't want to tighten this. You just want to kind of want to snug it and bend your prongs back over. Now once you have it back and reinstalled, uh, you need to make sure it starts in park, it starts in neutral, and check your reverse lights. If you don't get all three of those, there's a, a very small adjustment. So you just loosen this bolt up and you'll either turn it clockwise or counterclockwise clockwise or counterclockwise and um, tighten it back down and try it again until you get all three starting park start neutral reverse lights so hope this video helps somebody um please like subscribe share comment um click the notification bell all that good stuff and uh thanks for helping the channel grow i'm up over i think at the time of this video i got like 306 subscribers I'm shooting trying to get there try to get a few more and um Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.